أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأنيبوا إلى ربكم وأسلموا له وأسلموا له من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب ثم لا تنصرون واتبعوا أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب بغتة وأنتم لا تشعرون صدق الله العظيم these are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar. The first ayah is the ayah number 53 and 54 and 55. In the ayah number 53, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Actually, He ordains the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say قُلْ say or anyone after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reads the Qur'an also he is decreed to say يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ O my servants quoting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one who call, who calls, Ya ibadiya, O oh my servants, Alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, we can understand and feel the mercy of Allah from His, uh, from His call, Ya ibadi, O oh my servants, He does not say, He does not say here, O oh the servants, He say, O oh my servants, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ Joining us, joining the servants to himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَا عِبَادِيَ Owning them. يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ O my servants. الَّذِينَ Those أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Who made israf against themselves. What is israf? Israf means waste. Wasting your chance, wasting your ability in uh, uh, bad things. O oh, my servants who transgressed asrafu ala anfusim against themselves. Ya ibadi alladina asrafu ala anfusim. It means that they did many, many uh, sins. They are so sinful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defined their uh, too much sins with uh, kalimat israf, wasting the sin. It's, it's something like they are wasting the sins. They are doing so many sins. As if when, uh, when you look at them, you, you may say they are wasting the sins. Asrafu ala anfusim. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling them with my servants he wants them he did not reject them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says elsewhere Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum Allah is the one who wants to turn to you Allah is the one who, wa who wants to accept your repentance Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusim so we should imagine some people who did many, many crimes, big crimes, who killed many and who committed many uh, illegal sexual uh, intercourse, 
fornication. And you can imagine any uh, sin or any crime uh, within yourselves, but uh, imagine him as the one who did these uh, uh, sins uh, too many, too much. Asrafu ala anfusi. Even those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them not, not despair of His mercy. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Despair not of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever uh, sin you did or how, ma how many sin you did regardless of your uh, quantity of your sin do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Prophet, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated that there was a man who killed uh, 99 person and after that later on he asked a worshipper that if there is uh, a way uh, to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there any way of expiation he said no way for you you have already killed 99 person and then that person so killed him and completed the number to 100 and then asked a scholar of Ben Israel he asked them actually he was one of them he asked them about uh, his position uh, if there is any way to turn in repentance with Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said nothing can stop you from repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing can stop you from from turning to him of course you can turn to him but please abandon this area the area of kufr the area that did uh, that you committed all of your sins go away go far away from here and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that the man abandoned his city and go ahead to another place in order to be a righteous man but at the health of the way the death came upon him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the angels the angels of Rahmah the angels of mercy of Allah and the angels of torment disputed over him one of them said these uh, uh, these are mines the other said these are mines he didn't do any uh, goodness and the other angels said uh, and the uh, angels of Brahma they said no he was going to uh, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes he did many many crimes but he is right now turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so therefore he is mine at that moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them measure the distance between the two uh, the two towns and if he is closer to the town that he wanted to go then he uh, the angels of Rahmah the angels of mercy uh, let them take his soul and if he was closer to the city that he went further then he uh, belongs uh, to the angels of torture and at that moment Prophet ﷺ said that he was actually at the health of the way but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him closer to the city that he was going and the angels of Rahmah uh, took his soul this uh, narration by this uh, narration Prophet ﷺ wants to explain us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives he wants to forgive he wants to forgive the sins of his servants he calling them he called them to repent in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ibadi 
And in another hadith, Prophet وسلم, said, Allah pleases when his servant turned to him, when his servant emaned himself, when his servant uh, abandoned uh, the uh, sinful action, actions and turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he uh, explained them uh, with uh, a narration or with a parable. He said that, imagine yourself with your camel in a desert and you do not know the way, only the camel knows the way and whatever you have uh, is on the camel and you wanted uh, to briefly rest uh, somewhere in the desert but uh, you slept and when you uh, awake from your sleeping you notice that your camel is uh, absent he is not there you looked for it and you couldn't find him imagine that uh, calamity, how big it is. At that moment you understood that you cannot save yourself, you cannot rescue. You wanted to sleep again in order to die. This is the end. And when you tried to sleep at that moment you, not you noticed that your camel is uh, upon you and you uh, catched uh, him and at that point the person said oh my servant you are my servant and I am your God he confused to say oh my God you are my God you are my Lord and I'm your servant he confused and said the statement uh, from the opposite imagine how he is happy at that moment Prophet وسلم, said this and then uh, edited that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Wallahi he is more happy than that person when his servant comes to him, comes to his door when his servant uh, returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wants him to forgive uh, him wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him, him. this uh, point is important Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he be blessed and exalted he wants his servant to repent and he is actually waiting him Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum wa yuridu alladhin yattabi'un al-shahawati an tamilu maylan azima Allah wants to make it easy for you yuridu Allahu an yukhaffif ankum wa khuliqa al-insanu da'ifa so Allah wants to make easy for you Allah waiting you to repent to him but those those who wants to produce sin in the society they wants you to go far away from the Hidayah far away from the guidance so do not think at that point whenever you sin whenever you commit a sin do not think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive you even if you are sinning at, uh, at, uh, for the hundredth time, do not uh, give the chance to shaitan to make you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive you. At that point, you will lose everything. No one despair of the mercy of Allah except those who deny him, except the disbelievers. At that point, you become one of those disbelieving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will ask you, what was your sin? What was your crime? Is it bigger than my mercy? How could you think that your crimes, your sins, bigger than my mercy? How could you uh, think that Allah will not forgive you are you less in my uh, mercy are you despise my mercy no you deny me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send him to hellfire this is the disbelieving point thinking that Allah's mercy 
uh, is not enough for your sins, is not enough for your crimes. No. So, the Satan, first of all, wants to make the human being commit a sin. And then, after the sin, he wants to make him despair of the mercy of Allah. He says to him, you commit a sin. You were knowing the sin. You were aware about the sin. You committed it deliberately. You are a big sinner. You will not be forgiven. Do not try to be uh, for, uh, try to repent to Allah subhanahu wa taala because you ha you have already will not be forgiven. Forgiveness is not for you. You did it. You did it deliberately, and this is the second time, or third time, or fifth time, even if it's the uh, hundredth time or thousandth time regardless of how many it is you cannot you have not the right to despise the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have not the right to think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot forgive you you can you have not the right to think to despise of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually in this ayah preventing us la taqnatu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordain us la taqnatu despair not min rahmatillah of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we have not the right we cannot despair uh, his mercy whatever what or how many uh, our sins it is we cannot despise mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by this ayah we can answer Satan at that moment I have my Lord and I will go to him and I will expect his mercy yes I have already sinned yes I have already uh, commit a sin I know but this does not mean that I have lost everything I will not obey you no I will I will not accept myself that I lost everything I am a human being and I I uh, have cri crimed I have committed committed a sin and I know there is my Lord and I hope that he will forgive me أنفسهم واستغفر الله لوجد الله غفورا رحيما. I think I couldn't read the ayah completely, but Allah سبحانه وتعالى. I think the meaning was if those crimed who did wrong against themselves, who did wrong, ظلموا أنفسهم واستغفر الله and then asked Allah سبحانه وتعالى forgiveness. لوجد الله توابا رحيما. Indeed. They will find Allah Azza wa Jal Ghafooran Rahima, most merciful, most compassionate. La wajadullah Ghafooran Rahima. He will they will find him Ghafoor who wants to forgive. Most merciful. La wajadullah Ghafooran Rahima. Oh in another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, La wajadullah Tawaban Rahima. Tawab the one who accepts uh, the repentance of his servants enormously tawaban rahima I believe when I understand I want when I try to understand the ayah I think that there is no one who wanted to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not forgive him I hope his forgiveness I when I try I understand I try to understand the ayah I think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. But you notice that in the ayats, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks his servant to turn to him. And in this ayah also, La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Despite not the mercy of Allah, turn to him. Hope the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go and look. To, uh, to your heart is there a hope 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you? Is there any expectation? And whenever you crime, whenever you sin, do you feel guilty and want, and want uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you? This is the meaning of Iman. It shows that you are a believer. Believer uh, in the, on, uh, the only one God. And you know that there is uh, Allah, there is uh, an only one, uh, only one God who owns you, your Lord, and you feel guilty towards Him and you want Him to forgive you. This period in our lives is a normal period. We should know that we can sin. The human being can sin. We cannot uh, free ourselves from the sin. But we should uh, try to be away from the sin. Try to be away how much we can. And whoever uh, succeed uh, to be away much more, he is the best of us. Who, who the more you can be away from the sin, the best you are, the more good you are. But we should know that there is no one who is free from the sin. Everyone has small or big some sins. So Allah subhanahu wa we can hope the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the people. We cannot say whenever we mention somebody, we say Allah may Allah forgive him. The people says he didn't sin. He wasn't. Uh, he was not have any sin. He didn't crime. So how can you say may Allah forgive him? No, everybody. We can say about him may Allah forgive him. About the Sahaba, about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Yafir alak Allah ma taqaddam min dambika wa ma taakhir." He is talking about forgiving his sins. So there is no one free from the sin. This we should know this reality. And whenever we sin, Satan will make us thinking that we are the only one person who crimed on the earth. We are the only one person who is the most uh, sinful man on the earth. He will he will try to make us feel in that way and through that feeling he will ordain us that do whatever you want you have already lost everything Allah will not forgive you so you can try do the sin again and again you open the way you open the door just go ahead this is uh, the Satan's uh, 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 statements this all this comes from the Satan Satan we should not believe in him whatever and how much uh, we do uh, from the sins we should say to him go away I want to turn to my Lord I want to cry out to him I want to say oh my Lord please forgive me Prophet Wasallam said there was a man crimed, commit a sin, and then said, I committed a sin. Oh my Lord, please forgive me. Allah said to the angels, the servant committed a sin, but he knowed, but he knew that there is his Lord can forgive him and he invited his Lord to forgive him. And I bear testify that, bear witness that I am forgiving him. And that servant again sinned, again committed a sin, and cry, cried out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, called upon him, called upon him and said, Oh my Lord, please for, for the second time. And the same thing happened at the second. And for the third, third, uh, third time, he called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he knew that.
after is his Lord and he is forgiving. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, do whatever you want. You know that there is your Lord. Actually, this, uh, that servant couldn't know what Allah said to him, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with him because he knew that there is his Lord. So whenever we commit a sin, I do not say if we commit a sin. No, whenever we commit a sin, because we should know that 100 person, we should be certain that we will commit a sin. So we say whenever we commit a sin. We should not say if we commit a sin. When we say if, if it, it, it can mean that we, we will not commit a sin. No, we should be certain that we anyway we will forget uh, we can we will for, uh, commit a sin so whenever we should be aware we should be careful whenever we commit a sin we should remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should turn to him and as soon as we noticed ourselves in sin we should try to turn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as soon as possible please do not wait how much you wait you give the chance to Satan against you do not wait turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala innama at-tawbatu ala Allah lilladheena ya'maluna as-su'a bi jahalatin thumma yatubuna min qareeb Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the tawbah the forgiveness for those who crime who commit a sin and then after the sin as soon as possible nearly they return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not after uh, a while small time you should try to turn min qareeb how much closer you are the tawbah how much uh, and uh, how much early you are in tawbah you uh, will have the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much bigger and much bigger and you feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you and you will free from the uh, feeling of guilty this is the way of the believers those who have taqwa it doesn't mean those who have taqwa who, who observes their duty towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they do not uh, cry that the Satan cannot make them uh, sinful no they, it's, they can cry but after that they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about him naming them that they are those who have taqwa even in Quran we can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named those who committed adultery Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them who have the taqwa but how? by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and turning to him turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and see that you committed a sin you should acknowledge your sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should say, I, uh, I regret it. You should show your repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you should say to Allah, Oh Allah, I have committed a sin and I want to you forgive me and I will not do it again. I have the repentan repentance in, my, in myself and you see, you, you know whatever is in my heart. And you cannot uh, do a plan against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to commit a sin and then to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not the way uh, of the sincere believers. You cannot do that. It's not uh, a good way. I cannot say that that way is impossible to be forgiven. No. But uh, you should know that Allah is the one who knows your heart. When you turn to him, you should feel the pure 
repentance in your heart. But if you are, if you are turning to Allah and say, Oh my God, I regretted uh, from what I did. Please forgive me. But at the same time, you have the intention to do the same crime again. This is not turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should be certain about yourself at that point that you have the pure regret in your heart. You, you say, uh, if, oh, if only I had not did the, uh, the, uh, this crime, you are really uh, regretful at that point. If so, then you are sincere. If so, then your repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sincere. And you can hope at that time the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, it show, it's, it, otherwise, it shows that you are not turning to Him. You are still have, you are at that point still have the intention to turn, uh, to, turn to the crimes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these ayats clearly shows us that we should turn to Him tawbatan nasuha with repentance in your heart clear and pure repentance at that po point you should say about yourself you cannot fool yourself within yourself we are sincere uh, in our uh, innermost thoughts you should see yourself clearly that you are regretted about what you did and you do not want to de uh, do it again if so, then you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if after a while you commit that sin again, but your tawbah was nasuh, your tawbah was uh, pure. At that point, you were pure. You uh, were sincere. You can, you may sin again. Uh, it's not uh, the matter. It's not the case. The case that after your sin you should be pure you should be clear in yourself if you are not clear if you see that there is a possibility you want to do that crime again it means that you are not regretful you have not the full regretful in your heart so tawbah and nasuha a tawbah meaning turn to alterning to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but at the same time with regretful, in repentance. So we explain that at that point, Satan says to the human being that you are, a big, you are the biggest one uh, who crimed on the earth. You have many, many crimes. You did such a sin. You should not turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he will not forgive you. So. Uh, once you opened the way uh, to do uh, sins, go and take the advantage of the sins. Go and uh, take the advantage of the sins. This is the statement uh, of the Satan. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Despair not the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Despire not the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a. Allah is the one who forgives all the sins. Inna Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a. Allah is the one for who forgives all the sins. So there is no sin. How much big it is, or what kind of sin it is, you cannot define a sin and say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the sin, cannot forgive the sin. No, there is no any sin, any kind of sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them all. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a. So do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and return to Him. This is a call from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
to, to, to those who uh, live uh, in this life. They, those who did not completed uh, their life, did not completed, uh, did not complete uh, their trial. They are still in this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites them, all my servants who committed many, many sins, do not despise the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ayah after, after this ayah, he says, وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ Turn to him and submit to him. It's clear that they are the ones who are living in this life. They can return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the ability, still have the choice in their hand. So, for, the, for, for those who are, who are uh, in this life, they are still in this life, they are living, we can say to them, Allah, be certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the sins. But, after this life, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi. We should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi. Allah does not forgive. Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi uh, to be associate uh, with uh, others. Associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not forgiven. For those who completed their life, if you go before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this sin as an associator, as a pagan, as the one who uh, shared many partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who attributed partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you go before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this sin, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi. He will not forgive. He will never forgive them. Those who associate, associates uh, some gods uh, along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al-mu'minin. Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina akhta'ana ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته